Netscape Navigator. Imagine you're the first person to discover a brand new world. Just you, a map, and a compass. That's what Netscape Navigator was in the early 1990s. Before Chrome or Safari, Netscape was the king of the web. Back then, the internet was a wild place, mostly text and blue links. But in 1994, Netscape made it possible to see colorful pages, images, and even early animations. It was simple, fast, and friendly and it quickly became everyone's favorite. Netscape introduced the tiny lock icon we still see today when a website is secure, the little padlock next to your URL. Sadly, by the early 2000s, Microsoft came in strong with Internet Explorer, and Netscape slowly faded away. But its spirit lives on in Firefox. Internet Explorer. Remember the kid who always wanted to be first in line at school? That was Internet Explorer, or IE. When Microsoft bundled it with Windows in 1995, suddenly everyone had it installed automatically. No download needed. For years, Internet Explorer ruled the web. It was like the teacher's pet, every website was built for it. But as the years went by, IE got old, slow, and full of bugs. It was like a car that kept breaking down, but people still drove it because it came free with Windows. By 2022, Microsoft finally retired Internet Explorer and replaced it with something faster and smarter, Edge. Mozilla Firefox. Every good story needs a hero who stands up to the big guy. That's Firefox. In 2002, when Internet Explorer seemed unbeatable, a team of open source developers from Mozilla released Firefox, a free, customizable browser that cared about you, not profits. Firefox introduced cool things we take for granted now. Tabs, pop-up blocking, and extensions. Little add-ons that make your browser do magic tricks. It was private, fast, and community-driven. Firefox became a favorite among tech lovers and privacy-conscious users. It may not be the biggest browser anymore, but it's like that wise old owl in the forest. Trusted, free, and fiercely independent. Google Chrome. You know that feeling when you get a brand new bicycle that's way faster than everyone else's? That's what Chrome felt like in 2008. When Google released it, the internet suddenly felt like it got turbocharged. Chrome was fast, simple, and powerful. Its clean design, just a blank bar and tabs, changed how browsers looked forever. It used the Blink engine, originally from WebKit, which made pages load at lightning speed. And because it connected perfectly with Gmail, YouTube, and Google Search, it quickly became the world's favorite. Today, Chrome dominates the web like a Formula One car leading every race. But it's also a bit hungry. It eats up your computer's memory like cookies. Safari. Imagine a sleek, shiny car built only for Apple roads. That's Safari. Launched in 2003, it was made specifically for Mac OS and iPhones. Safari is fast, elegant, and energy efficient. It's designed to work perfectly with Apple's world, like an orchestra playing in harmony. Under the hood, Safari uses WebKit, a powerful engine that's known for smooth animations and low power use, great for saving battery on iPhones and MacBooks. It's also privacy focused, blocking trackers and cookies by default. It might not be as flexible as Chrome, but it's reliable, polished, and perfect for Apple fans. Microsoft Edge, when Microsoft saw Internet Explorer sinking, it didn't give up. It reinvented itself. In 2015, it launched Microsoft Edge, a brand new browser built for the modern web. The first version was OK. But in 2020, Microsoft rebuilt it completely using Google's Chromium engine, the same one that powers Chrome. This made Edge faster, smoother, and more compatible with websites. Edge also added cool features like collections for saving web clippings and vertical tabs. It's like the student who used to fail, but now tops the class. Edge proves that even old giants can learn new tricks. Opera. Opera has always been the creative one in the class. Born in Norway in 1995, it tried everything first. Tabs, pop-up blocking, speed dial shortcuts, and even a free VPN, which lets you browse more privately. Opera was small, but it was bold. It cared about speed and innovation. It also introduced Turbo Mode, which compressed web pages so people with slow internet could still browse quickly. 
Think of opera as the clever inventor in a world of copycats, always experimenting, always surprising. Brave. If browsers were superheroes, Brave would be Batman. It fights for your privacy. Built on Chromium but stripped of all Google tracking, Brave blocks ads and trackers automatically. Launched in 2016 by Brendan Eich, the creator of JavaScript and co-founder of Mozilla, it rewards users with basic attention tokens, BAT, for watching privacy-respecting ads. Brave is like a digital knight, guarding your personal data while giving you speed and freedom. For people tired of being tracked everywhere online, Brave is a breath of fresh air. Vivaldi. Vivaldi is the customizable browser for people who want total control. Made by former Opera developers in 2015, it lets you design your browser exactly how you like. Colors, tabs, gestures, side panels, everything. It's like painting your own workspace. Whether you're a power user or just want something unique, Vivaldi gives you all the tools. It's built on Chromium, so it's compatible with Chrome extensions, but with a personal touch, Chrome never offers. It's small, but beloved by fans who value individuality over trends. Tor Browser. Imagine you're wearing an invisibility cloak on the internet, that's Tor. It stands for the Onion Router, and it's built for privacy and anonymity. When you browse with Tor, your data bounces through several encrypted layers across the globe, hiding your real location. Journalists, activists, and privacy enthusiasts use it to stay safe online. Tor is based on Firefox, but comes preloaded with strong security settings. It's not very fast because of its multiple encryption layers, but for people who value privacy more than speed, it's priceless. UC Browser. In countries with slower internet, UC Browser was like a superhero. Created by UC Web in China around 2004, it became hugely popular in Asia and India because it compressed websites, saving data, and speeding up browsing. It was especially loved on older Android phones. But later, it faced criticism for security and privacy concerns, leading many to switch to more trusted browsers. Still, UC Browser showed how important, lightweight, data-saving browsers could be in developing regions. Samsung Internet. If you own a Samsung phone, you've probably seen this one. Samsung Internet is a smooth, fast browser built on Chromium, designed for touchscreens and mobile users. It has cool features like ad blockers, video assistance, and secret modes. It's not as famous as Chrome, but on Samsung devices, it's lightning quick and optimized for every swipe and tap. Think of it as Chrome's stylish cousin. Same DNA, but made for comfort and ease. DuckDuckGo. This one's for people who just want peace of mind. The DuckDuckGo browser, from the makers of the private search engine, automatically blocks all trackers and hides your search history. It's like browsing the internet with curtains closed. No peeking eyes. It doesn't profile you. It doesn't sell your data. And it's super simple to use. It's still growing. But for privacy-first users, DuckDuckGo is becoming the go-to choice. Arc Browser. Arc is the new kid with big dreams. Launched in 2022, it reimagines what a browser can be. Instead of traditional tabs, Arc uses a sidebar layout, built-in notes, and even mini-apps inside your browser. It's creative, modern, and designed for people who spend all day online. It feels more like a digital workspace than just a browser. Built on Chromium, it's super fast, but brings a refreshing, futuristic design that could inspire the next generation of browsers.